What's up guys, Twally, and today we're going to be doing some battles with a rental team featuring Slitherwing. So another past Paradox Pokemon, Slitherwing is actually a really cool typing, as a bug and a fighting type. I mean, the downside is you do have that 4x weakness to flying, but due to terrestrialization and the fact that we do have a redirect option on the team, that's something we really don't have to worry about too much. And even if we don't terrestrialize or don't have redirect out there, Slitherwing can actually do some really good damage. It does have access to the move First Impression, which does have a plus two priority, which means that for the most part, it really is going to go first. And it is a really hard hitting move too, and especially since Slitherwing has a base 135 attack stat, that First Impression, which is a stab move, is going to hit even harder. We do have Leech Life as well as another way to actually heal up, and Close Combat as well as another stab move. We do have Flame Charge as well, which is a move that's going to be able to speed us up. And since Slitherwing does have a base 81 speed stat, which is kind of, you know, middle of the road, being able to speed yourself up with Flame Charge, which is something that is going to do some pretty good damage as well, is really nice to have. And especially since we are a Fire Terra as well, if we do Terrestrialize into a Fire type and go with that Flame Charge, we're going to get that extra 50% bonus. And also, since we are holding the Life Orb, we know we're going to get that extra 30% as well. So being able to make that a stab move if we terastalize and have those other three moves as stab moves as well, we know we're going to hit extra hard. And we have a great supporting cast to go along with it, and you'll see that in these battles. So we'll get into them, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But go enjoy the battles, guys. We're going to go Slitherwing... Great Tusk, Gold Dango, and all of them Moongus as well. Well, no. Nah, it's fine. We'll go with that. Yeah, Tusk is going to be good here. I should have looked. I forgot what Terra it was. Brought iron bundle. I ah, know you're good, man. Trust me. Come on, what is iron dalliance again? That's something I should have looked up. Iron dalliance. Fairy fighting. Okay. Um. Terra with fire Terra, that's actually not bad. Yeah, fairy fighting, yeah. Thank the Lord. They need to come out with one, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, they probably are holding an item now. They're not bulky. I know that for a fact, though. Not gonna lie, Slitherwing is a little disgusting looking, don't you think? Hey, not bad. Oh, Headlong Rush is like a... Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, apparently. I did not think about that. Okay, I'm glad we didn't bring Palafin then. Or not Palafin, uh, Pelipper. Well, both actually. That works. Imagine just going flame charge and KOing. I don't want to boost up our speed stat, though. That's the problem. Going to Amoongus here. Sure, we'll do one more. Oh wait, I wanted to do that to... Ah, whatever. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I kind of wanted to do that to Valiant. Valiant's speed fall because of Trigon. 
No, no. If only, man, that would be pretty dope. You got this, Luna. You got this. There we go. That's perfect. Or by the Rocky Helmet. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, we would have been able to KO Valiant there, too. That's all right. Here's what we can do. We knock out Pinchurchin, which is great. Although, problem. Or no, I'm thinking about uh, Pukumuku. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to find Great Tusk. Uh, if you have Scarlet, it's down in the... Um, uh, what is that? Area zero? Thank you. Up the defense. Double defense. Oop, no, no, no. That's... Let's do that to Mon. Here you go, Bucky. Keep it up, dude. This is gonna be the, uh, that's gonna be their Terra. Oh! Okay! Okay, that's not bad. As long as Iron Moth didn't, uh, didn't protect. Yo, cool. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, Amoongus. Nice, Rocky Helmet. Goodbye, Moth. Yeah, because... Is that a 4x effective on Moth? Yeah. You'd be like, I know that is, or the rock would be for Volcarona, so that's ground for, yeah. Yeah, fire poison, yeah. Yeah, that, that always with, like, the iron Pokemon, all the future Paradox, it always, like... I just, I never know. I never know what they are, so... Do that, and we're gonna swap. Hold on. Now we can still do that. That's fine. Oh, the Don Pan one, yeah, the Iron Treads. Let's go. Hopefully we can knock out here with the Rocky Helmet, though. Okay, that's not ideal. How much longer is Trick Room up? <laughs> one more, okay. Um... Gonna try it. Here's the old no, we're not gonna do that. We should add the speed with uh with Amoongus. Yeah, electric rock too, yeah. The others are carbon fire. Oh, that would make sense. How did you miss on a 90%? Glitzky, what's up, man? How you doing? Wow, that's rough. 
It's super rough. Warp drive wears off. Great Tusk. There we go. It should have puffed, right? Yeah, I forget that Iron Valiant just doesn't have a ton of bulk, so the, the puff probably would have KO'd. Should have just went with the Rage Powder, to be honest with you. That probably would have knocked out Valiant. And we're... What's our other... Wait, what's our normal typing again? Ground fighting... Ah. Ah, we'll be alright. Famous last words. Shiny Maku Heater. Nice, dude, let's go! That's dope. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, absolutely, please do. And they got the berry, too. What a fleet fire? Absolutely, dude. What's going on? Go, they take a little bit of health back, but... There it goes. Nice. Thank you, Rocky Helmet. This should KO. Really? Okay. That's fine. Trust me, any I know anyone would be more than happy to help out. Trust me. Oh, for one on Sunday, huh? damage, though. Okay, what, uh, what level is it at again, too? Okay, good. This should KO, then. The moon just gets lost. But, so does their Iron Valiant. And also, here goes the, uh, uh, iron Hands, too. Thumbs up. There we go. Good game on that. Woo! That was a tough one, but worked out. Worked out in our favor. That's a, that's a good first one. Let's go Gold Dango. Yeah. Let's go Gold Dango Slitherwing. And Great Tusk in the back, along with... Honestly, I have to bring Amoongus again. Guess that's not a bad thing, though, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Paradox is but one of the most reliable physical attackers in the format. Yeah, absolutely. I will agree with you on that. I, I think it's because I ended up using... Um, I ended up using uh, Iron Treads first, and I'm like, well, Ground and Steel, that's, that's not bad, I guess, but, you know, it, it could be a lot better. But, yeah, I forget that Great Tusk and Iron Treads are not the same Pokemon and not the same typing. Fair enough. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, you're. And I do a lot of moves, even ground moves too. Who is it? Ugh, rough. This one might hurt a little bit. Big 
forever to spawn. Alright, come on, buddy. Do your job. Good damage. Come on. And unfortunately, that is why Gold Dango is used so often on so many teams. Nice. Yeah, if only, if only Miss Drevis and uh, uh, Fluttermane, you know, had kind of the same stats and everything too. Ooh, an Iron Mom. Okay, that might be a bit of a problem for uh, for Goldie. I might just have to sack Goldie here. It's, it's, yeah, just a big axe through its head. Sounds good, Bucket. Have a good night, dude. Dude, good luck with the uh, with the rest of the uh, Nuzlocke, too. Please life over there. We're gonna have to take him out after this one. Hopefully we can KO a Ranguru here, though. With a, well, no, Least Life might not do enough, though. Ooh, Goldie just barely hangs in there. Wow! Is that a crit? No, just a really strong attack by Slitherwing. Wow. Granted, of, of course, the stab, too, but... Wow. Wow. Well, wait, am I choice? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, there's no way we wouldn't have done that much damage without that. Let's go into Tusk. Jeez. We'll just go for the close combat. Slitherwing from the top rope. Dude, that Tusk just looks so clean, too. Ooh, good damage there on that. Let's go back out with the Moongus. Go with the Headlong. I'm kidding. We'll go with the Rage Powder. Yeah, no, no, no. We're fine. As long as they don't Terrasbalize into grass here, we're fine. Okay, into normal. Fair enough. Now, it's making me think, what normal move does it have? Hyper Beam! Let's go! That's some good damage on a Moongus, too. Man. Wow. Impressive. I don't know why I'm doing that. We literally have the, the turn off, so... Yeah, not sure why I did that, but... Fine, we got close combat. All right, man, I got starred by, uh, what, uh, what herb was that in, in, uh, Sword Shield that, uh, a lot of, like, Lunala's ended up using to power up Meteor Beam? Either way, doesn't matter. Good game, though. Power herb. Thank you, Tech. Here's what we're gonna do. Great Tusk gets absolutely lit up here, but I don't care. We're going to bring Great Tusk anyways. Actually, no, we'll bring Goldengo. 
We're gonna go Dingo. It's probably a smarter move. It's Monday. I'm not gonna be cheesy on a Monday. Well, the fact that he's got the uh, Cryogonal on the... Uh, and his card leads me to believe he's gonna bring Cryogonal. Those are Kragnos, that's perfect. So we swap out. Actually. Yeah, we'll just swap out into Goldengo. That's fine. Let's do a first impression over on Slowbro. Or Slowking, pardon me. Oh, my bad. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for that one. Fair enough. Except for Bryce. Hey, you never know, though. You never know. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not gonna die for Dynamax. I'm not gonna Terrastalize yet. Let's do that. Let's Leech Life over there, though. But like, and I, I don't live, I don't live over in England, man. Doesn't matter, right? We don't have kings in America. Krampus is gone. We have elves. Oh my god. We had Michael Jackson, who was a. Uh... Okay, please tell me you, like. That's fine, you're probably gonna bring in the. Uh... An Ice Type then, huh? That'd be nice if they bring in High Dragon, but. Oh, no! Okay, well... Uh, Palafin's in the back right now. We ended up putting it out there first, and then we did a hard switch. And speaking of, we're gonna bring Pelipper in just so we can switch the weather. Oh no, don't worry, Swesty. This is uh this is just a, a casual battle just so we could get uh, uh, a potential series two matchup. I know, I know. It'd be dope if we could. That'd be awesome. Alright, there goes their swift or their slush rush, pardon me. That's perfect. Actually, on. Wait, did they just go EQ? Nice. the right way to go, but why not? Let's have fun. I never miss Hydro Pump, right? Oh, Roar of the Only Word. Oh, that's right. We switched the weather. My bad. My bad. Forgot about that. That's fair. Okay. 
That's fine. Like I said, that wasn't the brightest idea, but... Alright, this is where we bring, uh... Oh, Slitherwing's Terra, though. What's our... Oh, we're a Water Terra. I'm not gonna test the luck yet. Come on now. Sounds good, Tech. Tech, did you want to do a uh, series one or series two? I wonder if I can survive that. You got it, my dude. Not in enough time, though. Oh, it had Rocky Helmet, too. Rough. Alright, now the good thing here is that water's not gonna bother us anymore. We're good with our water. With our water? With our water. Pardon me. Don't worry. Yeah, no worries. Even so, I think we still would have had uh, potential potential speed, though. But either way, I like Jet Punch anyways. Like, we would be able to knock out Boreas over there now, first. Impression and jet punch over here. Let's go. Uh, no, so chili reception basically, what is it? It lowers attack, but also puts up a uh, snowstorm. Gunzo. Sorry. And jet punch. Boom! Nice. Dude, not gonna lie, I actually do kind of like Slitherwing. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, we have the flying, uh, the flying 4x weakness, but even so, not bad though. Good game.